In this first exercise, we're going to do a step test of the heater and then also compare that with the simulated values. Compare the two. If you'd like to follow along on this, there is an address here that you can select or uh, type in. I'll put that in the comments as well. And this is the exercise with the full description and some sample source code to just get you started. Okay, let's go on through uh, this. This is our temperature control lab. It's this device with a couple heaters and temperature sensors. We're just going to use one of the heaters and temperature sensors for a single input, single output case. And then we have this differential equation that we're going to simulate in this exercise. We're going to assume that the ambient temperature is about 23 degrees Celsius and the heater value is going to be adjusted to 50 percent. The heater is coming in right here. We're going to use a time constant value of 150 seconds. Alright, and then the gain, this is our gain right here, and we'll just do 0 0.8. Alright, so we want to set up uh, this first of all to be able to collect the data from the temperature control lab. And we have some source code down here. I just want to walk through it um, just line by line just to explain what's going on. First of all, we're going to import NumPy and Matplotlib and also the Temperature Control Lab. Now, if you don't have Temperature Control Lab installed, you can go to the command prompt and type pip install TC Lab. And even if you do, you can do upgrade like this. Um, you know, just check to make sure that you have the current version or just TC Lab if you don't have it. Now, if you have an error that you have uh, you know, user permission, just type the dash dash user and it'll install it locally for you. Okay, then the other thing we need to do is import time. We're going to give some number of time points uh, for five minutes. Okay, so we want to go for five minutes on this one and then have some time values that are linearly spaced between 0 and 300 with 301 time points. Then we're going to collect the data. We're going to connect to the temperature control lab. That was from importing this package up here. And then we're going to just initialize it with a temperature. We're going to read a temperature from the device and store it in this array with just length 1. We'll append that later. Then we're going to also set the heater value to 50%. So that is going to set the Q1 value, the heater 1, to 50%. It's going to start heating. And then we want to be able to collect the temperatures at regular intervals as this uh, is going through this loop. So we're going to first of all sleep for one second. And then we'll print the current temperature and then we'll also append that value to this array that we created right here. We're going to uh, append it to this list of values um, just by doing t1.append and we'll append the uh, current measured value. Alright, then we'll close the lab after those uh, five minutes of data collection at one second intervals each. And then we'll plot the results. Okay, so we're just going to use matplotlib to plot it. And this is the starting script. And the thing that we want to do with this is add a differential equation simulation, the one that you see in the left. Uh, we're just going to add that. And we'll do that in one of two ways. We'll either do that with the ODE int. Okay, so let me just start with this script. And we're going to add in an ODE int simulation of the data that we're collecting. So the very first thing I need to do is um, import ODE int. You can see it right up here. You go scipy.integrate import ODE int. So we need that extra package. And then we're going to create some space down here and do a simulation. We need to define our function and we need to return the derivative d, uh, the dt dt. Uh, in this case I'll just call it d tc because it's in celsius d time and then we need to return whatever's on the right hand side of the equation and one of the things you see is we had to divide by our time constant here 
I have 120 or you can use the 150 that's there in the code or in the problem description okay and then we want to add uh, the simulated value to our plot all right and to generate the tsim we need to call ODE int with a couple arguments we're gonna call this lab sim that's the name of our function that we created that returns our derivative and then we need to give it an initial condition which is 23 degrees or room temperature and then we give it the time values okay so the time values were defined up here it's those 301 time values okay so that's it for ODE int and uh, then we also have uh, Gecko solution as well. Gecko is just a different package for simulating or optimizing differential equations. Okay, in this case, we're going to add, um, you know, this script. I'm just going to walk through how to create the Gecko model. So we're going to create a new Gecko dot um, m equals Gecko, and then we are going to define our linearly spaced times between 0 and 300, 301 time points, and give that to m.time. We need to create a new variable, tc equals m.var23, it initializes it to 23. And then we put in our differential equation. Again, you can use 120 or 150 here. Um, I'm just going to stick with 120 for now. And we change the mode to dynamic simulation, the I mode, and then we solve it. Okay, we also need to um, import Gecko at the very beginning. If you don't have that package, again, you can just pip install it. And pip install Gecko, and it will go out and collect the latest version of Gecko and install it. If you're in a Jupyter Notebook, just put the ex um, put an exclamation mark in front of it and then do pip install gecko and run that cell and it will install it in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, uh, so there are two scripts. Let's go ahead and just run um, one of these and see what it does here. I'm going to get my step. Okay, I'll do the gecko one and I'll just run that with IDLE. You could run it in a Jupyter Notebook as well. Okay, so we're going to run this, and then I will pause it um, just because it's going to take five minutes to generate it. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so it's starting to collect some data here, and it's going to turn on the heater uh, and just print out the temperature every second. We should see this start to rise. Okay, you can see the temperature you know, getting to 16, 17, and it should go on up. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, colder here than the 23, so there's going to be a little bit of mismatch. Uh, but don't worry about that for right now. We're going to be taking care of some of the mismatch that we see uh, later when we do the regression and other methods to fit our models. Okay, so I'm going to pause it now, and then we will come back and do this uh, again in just a little bit. Uh, unpause it and look at the plot. The script just finished and you can see the results of the two. The measurements that are here down at the bottom start a little bit colder than the 23 degrees. You can see the simulation come up to about 60 degrees Celsius. The uh, measured values are going to come up to about 48, 49. And you can see at the very end that it's going to disconnect from uh, the the computer, it's going to disconnect the serial connection and then set the uh, before after setting the uh, heater values to zero. Okay, so that's it for the step test. We're going to uh, let me just give an overview of what's coming later. And we have a number of exercises here where we're going to do some modeling of the convective heat transfer, convective and radiative heat transfer. Then we'll linearize uh, this equation and, uh, and then do a graphical fit for a first order system and then a regression fit. And after we do that, the modeling, we're going to get into the controller aspects of the course. And there you can see just an overview of some of the modeling. Uh, right here we have um, 
these six exercises and then we'll move on to some controller development.